Well, welcome to the Surrey Hills. So we're surrounded by some magnificent variety of trees, both conifers and amazing hardwoods of all ages. And we manage these woodlands in a way that is, I hope, the best that we can do, having regard both to the environment and the biodiversity, as well as to the timber itself. And also to all the people who enjoy and get pleasure from being here. Managing woodland is a really interesting and quite complex activity. For the last 10, 15 years, been running a programme where every year we have an area that we fell or clear fell or thin uh, because our plantations have got to that sort of age. So this has been really interesting and it's been something that we have definitely needed some support with. Um, and we've been very lucky to have a fantastic agent, Penfolds, who've been incredibly helpful in both marketing the timber, but most importantly in advising us over the actual programme of works to ensure that the health and safety is as good as we can have it. Obviously, when you're dealing with felling and thinning, you've got lots of things to think about. It's a potentially dangerous activity with big machinery and um, things to think about both in the air and under the ground. Have you got overhead lines or underground pipes and where are people and who's enjoying it and what's, what's about. So it's something that I'm very happy to pass over to an agent. So um, Coombs were introduced to Hampton Estate um, and, and Bridget through Penfold Woodland Management um, asked to come in and price some work, look at how we'd deliver that, that harvesting work um, on behalf of the landowner in a, in a safe and um, professional manner. Well, key, key to it all really is all about the, the planning side to it and communication, certainly in the early stages. There's, there's so much um, to be considered in, in, in pretty much every woodland that we, we would ever work in. Key things when managing health and safety on a, on a forestry work site, one of the key things for landowners to consider really is, is just to ensure that they know everyone's roles and responsibilities through the chain. The landowner can delegate responsibility but will always be liable um, and often they, that's where you bring in an agent to, to take care of that, that the agent has more specialist knowledge and can work with the contractor who will put forward a forestry works manager um, and a site safety coordinator um, and, and between them the, the agent and the contractor will, will work out the risk assessments, the method statements and, and, and notify other parties, third parties of, of the works and, and make sure the method statements and the risk assessments are all in place prior to work starting and have them reviewed during works, which may even be on a daily basis, but certainly during site visits and so on, all those documents get reviewed and used as part of the management of the work site. Another important element of good site management is the record keeping. Um, and so when um, you've done your initial pre-commencement meeting, there might be a record kept of that, a written record, and the parties would sign, sign that document so everyone knows um, that that's where you're starting off from. And then on from there, it would be normal and, and good practice for um, the contractor and the agent um, to visit the site and ensure the work is being done to the right standard, that it's being done safely, and that, that written records are made of, of those visits, of, of any problems that have been found and what's been done to rectify them, and, and also a record of any good practices, you know, which, which should be um, uh, an effort made to record because that demonstrates um, a, a sensible work site, a safe work site, um, and um, good forestry practice. Your initial risk assessments and method statements have been um, written and agreed with all the work parties. Um, always a useful document that should be available on the site to those that are working there and it should be part of their daily routine to refer to those documents um, and adjust some of the risk assessments or the method statements if necessary, if conditions change and that can be led by the operators um, flagging it up and, 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 and suggesting a change and making notes to themselves communicating that to the forestry works manager would pass it on um, to the contractor and the agent or, 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 or the other way if, if new information comes to light the agent would, would, would pass that information back down the chain but the main, main thing really is that it's a dynamic process and that, that records should be kept all the way through and, and it should be an integral part of, of the operation. In many instances forestry operations take place in remote rural areas and people undertaking the work will often be working alone or at a distance from, from their colleagues and so it's really important that a, a safe system of work is agreed. So the landowner themselves know who's on their land and, and what are they doing and what systems are in place to ensure that everyone can go home safe. So on this particular site 
It's been worked a few years ago, but um, when we were planning the operations here, there was a number of things to consider, some of them environmental, some of them physical constraints. But the main thing is to make sure that working with the landowner and, and the agent that's involved in the work is that you can bring together all the threads of information so that some of the information the landowner holds, um, perhaps on maps back at the office, um, and some of the information the agent will have picked up on and then other stakeholders as well, such as gamekeepers or um, local conservation groups, will have information to input into the development of the, of the, the working plans for, for, that, um, for that particular site. And, and, and timing is really critical here. Um, it's, it's very difficult to do all of that in a, in a short time frame. Um, and, and when work is being planned or, or, or parcels of timber are being tendered, um, uh, short time frames are always much more challenging. There's an awful lot of information that needs to come together to make a, a job safe and um, economic to work and that's where working um, together communicating well with the, the landowner and with the agent um, and any outside third parties is just absolutely key in, in, in the delivery of a safe and, and sort of professional job um, ultimately to make the work um, delivered in the right time frames um, give a good economic return if, if that's one of the uh, ob objectives and, and, and ultimately to make sure everyone's um, kept safe dur during the operation and that's not just the people involved in the work um, but members of the public, um, third parties that might be passing through the work site as well um, so that everyone can go home safe at the end of the day. I'm just really glad that we've approached it in the way we have using a forestry advisor to take us through to the tender stage and then having the contractors to help us uh, with it. So I, I feel with what we've done, we're at the stage where we can go ahead with this operation in the knowledge that we're doing it as safely and the best way that we possibly can, having regard to all those who benefit and enjoy and use it and our own home team here and our forestry staff and also thinking about uh, managing it and in terms of the biodiversity. So in summary, uh, I suppose what one should say is that we, we, my family and I, are the owners of this estate and the, ultimately the responsibility rests with us to make it right. Forestry operations are really tricky, really complicated, you need to know what you're doing and I would just urge everyone to take advice. There's masses of advice out there and you need to know what you're doing. You cannot afford to make mistakes if you want to look after your woods and all those who benefit and enjoy them, whether it be people or nature.